Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest version of Team One Recovery Project 3.0.0 right on my Galaxy S4 right here and um, I will show you guys the most simple method you'll ever find about flashing this uh, any kind of recovery because not all users have uh, the advanced power menu or a custom ROM installed so they don't really know how to get into download mode or into recovery mode so that's why I will prefer showing you the full tutorial on how to install a custom recovery in this case Timwin Recovery Project 3.0.0 so right away here on my desktop I have the Odin 3.10.7 I'll pull link right down into the description with all the files you need in order to flash these, uh, the latest version of uh, Timwin Recovery Project Right away, let's get uh, into business. I have here my Galaxy S4, and all you have to do for now is to power off your device, either by you know unplugging the battery or by simply powering it off uh, from the menu. So after you powered it off, you need to get into download mode in order to make it work on the Odin. So how to how do you get into download mode? And please make sure you follow these steps really carefully because it's kind of a complicated. It's actually the most complicated part of this tutorial so make sure you follow follow my steps really carefully so in order to get into re download mode you'll have to press let me focus okay the volume button along with the home button and the power button in the same time but uh, after you feel a vibration after you press them in the same time after you feel a vibration you just have to immediately let them away and then press them immediately again so there's no time for you know thinking about this you need to you need to make it fast you need to do it fast so take a look at how uh, how i do it and um if you won't succeed from the first time then you'll have to you know pour it off again and try it again until you will make it so right now i will tell you what i feel about this device during this tutorial uh during these steps so volume down button along with the home button let me focus properly along with the home button and the power button and i will tell you what i do so three two one press them vibration let them and press them again yep that's what it will happen you won't make it from the first time it's really hard to make it behind the camera so that's why i'm telling you this so in case you've done this Please make sure you get off the battery and get it again into your phone. So if you did it from the first time, then congratulations. But you may face this problem. So that's what I'm going to be doing again. Volume down button, home button and power button simultaneously. Vibration let them down and press them again in the same time. So no time for breaking for breaking for pausing okay here we have a warning regarding the download mode all you have to do is to press continue and right now we're into download mode after you have your device into download mode all you have to do is to connect your uh, device to the pc using any usb cable and uh, if you don't have your drivers let me focus if you don't have your drivers installed on your windows as i uh, I have actually installed them because I have flashed my device 100, 100 times. Um, you'll see right in the window screen, right in the dialog box right here, added. So that's where you know, when you know things are going to be working perfectly in terms of flashing your device using Odin. Um, if you don't have this here, in the dialog box you'll have to wait until uh, drivers are properly installed on your on your uh, windows if you have your window here like this all you have to do is to go into ap and then select the team recovery project 3.0.0 tar click open and then sorry make sure you untick from the options here auto reboot so we don't have to get to reboot your de our device and get it again into into uh, power offing again uh, 
and then get into recovery. So we'll have to minimize the process as good as we can, as much as we can. Um, right away, we'll have to press start. I will show you the device and how it looks. So yeah, it says pass. You can unplug your, your USB cable right now. And how do you get into recovery mode? The same process. All you have to do is to power it off manually by getting the battery off. And then again, let me, okay. And then how do you get into recovery mode? You have to press this time the volume up button along with the home button and the power button with the same procedure. So press them, vibration let them and press them again. Right here it will say rebooting into recovery and it will boot right into recovery. And I will switch to the front view in order to show you how the new team recovery project looks like. So, yep, stay tuned. Yep, guys, I'm back here with the new, brand new team recovery project version 3.0.0 with F2FS support. And um, this is how it looks like. This is a brand new user interface. It's kind of a marshmallow style. And uh, we have here the same basic functions that uh, you would get on the 2.8.7.0 version which was the version before this new update. And uh, I'll have to say these are some new features. These, uh, the, no, the, the uh, navigation bar here. Sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, it's, um, the clock isn't showing the right, the, uh, the right hour, but it's uh, 12 a.m. in the morning. Um, this is how they look like. And yep, they work perfectly. Here we have the, um, a script and all the actions we would take into this recovery are shown there shown there um, settings and yeah the same basic function that you will get on the on a normal uh, recovery so that's how you install the latest version of Twin team we recovery project I hope you like it guys if you did please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel by doing so, you'll keep me motivating doing this kind of tutorial. So thank you for watching, guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye-bye.